Nice. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Uh, Views from the Vault episode 98 starts in a couple of minutes. Uh, Jason Leon up here in the house. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Um, we're going to post a link to our Discord up at the top and pin it. And this just showed up in our, in Discord already, right? That we're on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think under the watch now, Wiki's got that bot set up proper. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I was just about to type the same thing, Jason, until Kevin Spacey was outed for being a disgusting human being. Yeah, I tried to watch Twenty One the other night. I couldn't do it. Although he was an asshole in that movie, so I mean, he never plays means. the good guy, right? He's never really he played, a good he, guy well in anything. He's always got some part of him that's a bad guy. Yeah. My house of cards. Thank you, Cameron. Yeah, hit that like button, everyone, before we get started. Should be a fun show, even though we don't have Snapback God on tonight. We should still have a little fun. He he promised he'll be in the comments still. Oh oh, he's there. He's there. Mm. Yeah, great supporter. Maybe next week we try to get him on. We'll see. But for the hundredth show, we have to do something special, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we got to do something. That's only a few weeks away. We're coming up on three years. Uh, May fifth. Wow. Well, that, that would be our YouTube birthday. Yeah. May 5th. Yep. We've probably already passed our uh, like regular. No, yeah, it's only been two years. Yeah, 2020. Well, going yeah, so two we years, are, yeah, we'll be going, going into our third year. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. It's that Canadian math. I count weird. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it should be good. And then maybe we'll get Snapback God on next week, hopefully. And then, I don't know. We got to figure out what we're going to do for our 100th show. Maybe for those folks out there, um, as we're waiting for more people to join, if you have ideas for what we should do for our 100th, sh our 100th this week in CAPS, which is crazy to me, let mm -hmm. me know. Let us know. We'll be just coming no, back. No, Vito, it's only, three, it's only two years, yeah. not three. It's probably yeah. our two-year anniversary right around now because we did start – these streams in an in an uh, in a in a hat group uh, yep. for like three weeks and then went to YouTube. Um, it would be around now because I remember it was always kind of around fifty nine fifty day when we started planning this stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and for those that are still looking for our caps, I think I think they're still all available on Cool Jays. They had a huge issue on their site today. They couldn't, they could not handle uh, whatever traffic that occurred at the outset. Um, but there's certainly some left, so get out there and get them while you can. Yeah. And any uh, any Canadians, um, you can DM them and they will uh, ship to you directly, even if their website doesn't. Yeah. All right. I guess we can show our ugly mugs and get started. All right. Well, uh, welcome to the vault, uh, everyone. Uh, Leon, Jason, Pierre here. Uh, we're here to bring you guys episode 98 of This Week in Caps. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, Pierre, take it away. Man, what a, um, was it a big week, Jason? I always start off by asking that. No, not really. Not I was really, down a little huh? bit this week. Yeah. Wow. Well, I guess we're still going to have some fun, though. So, just so everyone knows, um, you know, I'm wearing a black nasty for the first time in three years, I think. <laughs> everyone buy your lotto tickets. Yeah, I mean, this is it right here. Three is, but this hat is so good, I had to do it, man. You know, I had to do it. But listen, I think um, I think we're going to have a good time tonight. Oh, we got Snapback God in the comments, so he's always uh, he's always interesting. I'm sure he'll have some funny shit to say. But uh, we'll get started here. We're, we, we're asking if all of you be super participatory today. 
um let's uh let's get that chat going um let's uh we'll have some polls going i'm sure right jason jason has become uh very oh, um yeah. i need to cue that uh, up yeah jason has become very adept at i mean multitasking it's been pretty impressive to watch he keeps uh he keeps us going on Streamyard, and he's also um our poll guy and uh leon's drinking stuff yes iced coffee Nice yes. coffee. Okay. Cheers, everyone. All right. Wait, Ben's Ben is um selling all of his black nasties. Is that a joke? Who? Ben. Ben. Ben's got a ton of black nasties. Oh yeah, he. Yeah, he definitely does. He's probably got over a thousand. If you're kicked off one week, are you allowed back the next week? No. Why is that? I'm not sure. Who's getting Jason kicked off? <laughs> I don't know. There's some wild shit going on in the comments, but yeah, let's, I don't not, know. Let, let's not do anything to get you get yourself kicked off now, people. Come on, now. yeah, yeah. Let's All right, you guys ready for this? You guys ready to get started or what? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. So start with Cool Jays. Uh, what a good start to the show. Um, we listen. Cool Jays definitely ordered enough of these, so. Get on the website if you can um, right now. If you haven't already picked one up, um, you could pick multiples up actually right now. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of what happened earlier today, I think their site. I think we shut their site down for like three hours. They just couldn't handle the traffic. So, um, Cool Jays did order a good quantity of these though. They they told me they would, and they certainly they certainly delivered on that. Um, mm -hmm. So, if you haven't already, um, head on over there. Uh, you can pick them up. Uh, now listen, I don't know what's going to happen with the DMS and all that stuff. I know there was probably a ton of orders are still going through because he told me that it was, uh, a huge influx of orders, but it feels like he used almost all of his allocation on our hats, which is, I think, um, I think that's really cool, man. I, I want to thank yeah. uh, cool for investing, uh, investing in the quantities. Um, we really appreciate it. And it was really great working with them. Um, mm -hmm. you know, with, 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 uh, with cool J's. Uh, they did a little bit of promotion on their own, which was fantastic. Created a video. Yeah, cool. and, yeah they were fun oh, to work with. Man. Was crazy. Yeah, yeah, they were fun to work with. Um, I do, I do, um, I do love those guys. Uh, so listen, the Miggy uh, was my hat, banana boat by Leon and Scarface by Jason. Still available on the site. So um, mm -hmm. head on over if you haven't already and pick yours up. And with that, guys, let's move on to the clink room. All right. All right. So we got six selections this week, right? We got Cat Burglars by Lane and Jay. We got El, El Triste. Would you say Triste or Triste? I, I think know. it's Triste. I probably forgot the accent. or, or All right. By Invader yeah. Pin. Little Hopper by Bueno Biscuits. Uh, Lion Hearts by Forty Swords, one of our favorites, right? Pride mm -hmm. by Aaron and Aurelian. And Siren Song by Ryan S. Guys, what are you thinking here? Leon, you got any favorites here? Uh, right off the bat, uh, Lionhearts is really cool, um, and Cat Burglars, uh, Little Hoppers, uh, kind of like you know, kind of kind of slick. I like that. Um, but yeah, it's a very very cool uh, offering. They're all all right. Yeah, I mean these are the, these these are all solid to me. Mm -hmm. The last couple of weeks, I I couldn't say that, but um, I do like the uh, I like Forty Swords. I like Lionhearts. Yeah, that one's really good. That's got some detail in it, though. Jason, you got a favorite here? Uh, I'm going to go with Siren Song. I, mm. I imagine there will be some glow in the dark in that thing. Um, I like the colors. Yeah, it's a good-looking hat. And it's got that that mint under, right? Yep. Yeah, it's got some good stuff. There's some nice good stuff here, man. Yeah. yeah, it's um, and it's it's tough, man. I mean. You know, I think um, I think we can kind of kind of share this here while we're on this slide. Like, there's still backups at New Era, and probably more to come. Uh, so, yeah. from what we're hearing, a seven to eight week uh, shutdown again. Um, <laughs> you know, me personally, even my hats are stuck in China right now because um, because COVID's kind of uh, impacted uh, impacted China a bit. Certain areas of China, China's a huge place, but certain areas in China have been affected. So, um, we're seeing another shutdown coming. Uh, not as big and massive as the last one, but certainly something is coming. Um, and that pushes Clink Room back a little bit more, I would imagine. Yep. 
Uh, yeah, so I was, you know, listen, Clink Room has got some great designs on uh, this week. I think they, these are pretty solid. Um, but again, I, I know it's hard for people to embrace it all as we still wait for the hats to land. It's got to be over a year now, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because um, we had Clink Vision, um, what, back in March when, oh, yeah. when we did that? And uh, I, I'm still waiting for one of those. Yeah. I feel like oh, yeah, Vision waiting. was some of the like the last to arrive, right? That that yeah. match. Mm -hmm. Um one it it got pushed back because of like the the subject matter and stuff like that. That wasn't it's still. All right. Yeah, it's yeah. still been a while. All right, so uh that's Clink Room. Um let's move on to Crown Minded, everybody. So these were all like uh Lucy Nathan restocks. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to hear from everybody out there. Which is your favorite of these restocks? Um, you've got that Texas Rangers. That's pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of that inaugural season patch, but I do think that's a cool looking hat. Um, that Angels hat isn't bad either. I know that's got Jason's least favorite side patch. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a uh, exclusive fitteds esque um, swinging tiger. That Cardinals mm -hmm. hat is badass, and that that Atlanta Braves. I know that's got Jason Mead written all over it. Yeah, but um, peach. come on now. What's that? What's that? Navy and peach. Jason's all over that one. Well, oh. and Braves. That's a, yeah. that's a trifecta yeah. right there. That's yeah, like it's, the yeah. holy trinity. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, which is your favorite here, Leon? Uh, Angels. Angels. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that is the, as is, are those logos like area era appropriate. Well, I'm sure they're speak to that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's the Wally yeah. Joiner. Yeah, that was you know yeah. what I always think of that era as Wally Joiner. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that would have probably been a jersey patch at the time, right? Around that nineteen eighty yeah, so. nine time. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, listen, these are great, man. They really are solid. That Texas Rangers one though, that's a that's a hockey one, right? Yes. Yeah, that's uh the stars hook. <laughs> you can yeah. tell with the uh, sky blue under. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think I like the Cardinals the best on here, though. Cardinals is slick. I like that one. But we saw hey. that. We've seen that a couple times, right? Mm -hmm. so, which one? Close variation. Not exactly. Yeah, I feel like the Cardinals ch changed it very slightly over the years, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Slightly different bird sometimes. Slightly different text. But something right, very so close. So Joe R says he listens to the podcast. Uh, Donovan, yes, we do. Uh, we do make the audio for these shows available on all uh, major podcast platforms. But but Joe R, you don't have to listen to the podcast if you don't need, and you can always just bring up YouTube later. So I just, that's always an yeah. Option but too. some people like yeah. to be here live, you know. Or when no, no, driving, no. When he's driving. he's saying he he listens to the podcast and he can't see what's happening. So yeah, oh, gotcha. And YouTube will replay the live comments too. So. Gotcha. Some people, right, when they're driving and stuff, they need something. That's true. Huh? Yeah, I yeah, just for those of... up on the dash. <laughs> we don't, uh, we don't, uh, we can't I mean... sign off on that safety hazard <laughs> watching while you're driving. There's not a lot of traffic here, so it's it's not that big of a deal. And for those of you that may prefer um, uh, Twitch uh, for your viewing sort of needs, we are on mm -hmm. Twitch as well now, so... Um, you can check that out. We're live on Twitch as well. Um, so whatever platform you prefer, we'll splinter some views, I'm sure, by having uh, a Twitch uh, tw streaming the Twitch as well. But you can go either way. Um, mm -hmm. And now that everyone knows that Joe R, first of all, Joe R, thank you for your donation. We appreciate that. But for th those that now know Joe R isn't reading comments, they're now um, they're now roasting you, Joe R, specifically in Capnito. I'm um, saying that you're living in the 40s on one of those old style radios. Um, so I thought I'd, I thought I'd help you out with that, Joe, uh, since you can't see the comments. But uh, with that, guys, let's move on to Capanova. These are All right. Good. They are. I, I mean, listen, I, I'm going to be frank with you. I'm not a big fan of the cars ones. Me just fitted was it just fitted was, though, because they stole one of them. <laughs> yep. Um, but. I'm not a big fan of the Cars one, but when it comes down to uh, the Monsters, Inc. and the Toy Stories, I, I like those. I'm in on those. <laughs> the MLS ones are good, too. The, yep. which, which one? Uh, the ones on the right, those are MLS hooks. Yeah, I knew it had something to do with soccer. FC Cincinnati. <laughs> yeah. 
at the spider. Jason, let's do a, Jason, let's do a poll here if that's okay. We'll do yeah. uh, Toy Story, Monsters Inc., Cars, or uh, the not the the, the kickball kickball. <laughs> wow, you know, that's that's rude. Yeah, well, let's let's see. So, uh, what are your favorite? What, what's your favorite, Toy- uh, Leon? Uh, Monsters Inc. followed followed by the Toy Story. That might be mine as well. Yeah, I like that. Like, I actually, I actually, I, I like the soccer ones the best. I think, and I'm being honest with you. Yeah, the soccer one's definitely most wearable. Um, I think hook wise, the Monsters Inc. one is the most interesting, and plus, no one really did it before. I'm kind of getting inundated with the Toy Story stuff lately. Yeah, I do like these though. I mean, I think I, the only ones I'm, I don't know the the I'm stuck with the I'm stuck on the Cars ones. The Cars ones are my least favorite. Yeah, they don't scream cars at all. But the, at, at, as hats, if you're just looking at just the hats, they're not bad. If you take out the hook, I like the Minnesota one. The yeah, on the uh, yeah. I, the Milwaukee one's not bad. It's just that like it doesn't scream cars to me. Yeah, I'm with that. I don't. I don't. I don't feel it as much. But I certainly. They're still good hats, though. I mean, they're, yeah. they're good hats. Yeah, they're good hats. Um. Yeah, yeah J- Jason, you have... my favorite. Where are you at, Jason? You like it? You like it? which set you liking the best? Oh, I want to say the Cincy one, but that 2000 All Star game is really throwing me off. Yeah, it mm. doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, so I will go with Monsters Inc. Hmm. That would be my second choice to the kickball hats. Why, why are you gonna do that to me? Especially after the you know, United States men's national team just qualified for the World Cup, you gotta call it kickball. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I, I can appreciate the athleticism that goes into the sport. I just can't yeah. watch it. Honestly, that's all. That's all. All right, let's move on to Hat Heaven. Hat Heaven had a had another Monday drop, and this one uh, was was pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got that. We've got some era flips going on, right? We've got that uh, Atlanta Braves uh, being an era flip, and that thing is great looking, man. Mm-hmm. But once, a, yeah, that, the Guardians is the one that probably had the most fanfare, though, right? Uh, probably the Tigers, right? I don't think so. Uh, t- Tigers sold out immediately. Yeah. Uh, oh, did it? it? Had to have. Oh, man. That logo they can play out for the next five years. <laughs> it's like people can't get enough of it. It's a cool logo. I mean, I, I'm guilty. I bought it. Guardians? Uh, Tigers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We kind of we kind of did did our thoughts here, right? Um But I, I'd love to hear from everybody out there. What is your favorite here? I don't know. I remember my favorite being um on this one. Like I like the Brooklyn, I like the Atlanta, right? Mm-hmm. I don't remember. I don't remember what was your favorite, Leon. I think, like aesthetic wise, the Brooklyn one is the best hat. But yeah. For me, I, I would think the Tigers is the most popular. Yeah, I didn't ask you that. So, what's your favorite hat? Oh, sorry, Brooklyn. <laughs> okay. Jason, yours was. Uh, the Braves was the only one I ended up picking up out of the set. Really? Holy shit! Yeah, I know. I don't know, sick, man. I got sick on Monday or something. I don't know what I was. Yeah, doing. I got that Philadelphia hat too. I think I only. Yeah, I should. I should have grabbed the Philly. Uh, I was late on the Tigers. Um, those were the ones that really screamed to me. Uh, Jason, the other Jason there said that Atlanta is ugly. Well, I want to say I mean, ugly. everybody's got an opinion. Hmm. I like the. I think what I I didn't get the Tigers. I didn't get Houston. I didn't get Miami. I didn't get the Yankees. In this one, the Miami kind of looks like a Mountain Dew hook or something. The Miami hat's not to me. It's not a good hat. I don't. I don't like that one. And I don't like that Guardians. Get out of here. 
No, I don't. I don't like that home. That home plate. That clubhouse home plate is. Yeah, it makes you feel me like off. a club. Uh, it makes you feel like a clubhouse yeah. hat. Someone asked if it's a yeah. spring training hat. It's not. I don't think so. I think it's just one of their alternate logos. Might be a jersey logo or something, but it's not their yeah. spring training logo. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. I, I I like it. I like it. But yeah, um, it's the first time we've really seen it, right? So yeah. What's interesting? Uh, so- only only two side patches in the bunch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Snap. So that God's bringing that up. It says they yeah. all look naked. Yeah. See, they all look naked, like Misty Maroon, <laughs> like Misty yeah. Maroon in her. Sometimes less is more. I don't know, man. I've been really finding it refreshing to buy some hats without side patches, honestly, because yep, it's just, it was it's just nice every now and then. Yeah, it's the clean aesthetic, you know. Um, I don't know, but I, these there's another good drop, and they've got another drop coming. We're gonna preview. We're going to film it tonight, right, guys? But then we'll preview it uh, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll figure out what day is best, but we'll get that preview up for you. Um, the next batch of hats looks really good. Looks really mm-hmm. good. Um, yeah. That video already yeah. dropped, though, the one that's coming out Monday. That one already dropped. Yeah, yeah, but we got another video coming. Yeah, for the week after. Yeah, we're getting the week, ready after, after. week after. So we're like, it's just a steady flow of hat heaven, which is a good thing. Um, yeah, and Snapback God, I'm with you, man. The Guardians is, is fantastic on this. Uh, I agree with you there. Let's move on, fellas, to Sports World out in Queens. All right. Uh, this is the first slide here. I forgot. What's the, what's the first set of hats? What's the colorway on this? What's it called? Um, the Olive Rust. That's what they called it. I guess so. Yeah, because it's, yeah, it it's, it's Olive and it's Rust. So Yeah, that's – I mean, they really – Dug deep for the name. They got a little maroon yeah. in there too. No. Oh. Yeah, well, what's the broom? What broom is that? That's, That's brown. 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 Okay. You, you, might need a little, you have to screen. do a little color calibration on your monitor. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking on the small one. That's Jeez. brown. Yeah. Right. They're not bad, right? They're not bad. No, they're good. I I, like I don't them. like the I don't like the orange ones though. You don't like or you do like? I don't. You don't. Is it the lemon zest under getting you? Yeah, the lemon zest under is fucking those up. <laughs> Bad. Look at I those things. Those. You think it would have helped if they did it olive under? On, on oh shit! That's some shit. That's some shit you'd wear pumpkin picking. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I the just, inside of a I just, pumpkin. I, I just realized I ordered that Boston one, so I'm gonna yeah. go pumpkin picking later. I like that. Wear for uh, pumpkin your spice latte season. There's your first mistake of the day. No, I've made plenty of other mistakes today. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I think the yellow is what's killing me there. I don't know. What would you have done? Gray? Gray. Yeah. Orange. I, I, I was like gray. Yellow. Gray, olive would have worked. We, uh, Jason's saying it's boring when he's the one that wanted the campfires to have gray bottoms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Almost the same exact shit. Yeah, but, which um, is pretty much the same because that's rust on the top. Yeah. No, I don't know, man. These are all right. These are all right. Uh, I'm not fucking with those orange ones, though. It, it, is, are you guys getting see that Cubs combo at all? Not yeah. really. Not yet. It hasn't been is, done super poorly yet. The thing, yeah, that that's the issue too. Like when they make them, they usually make them good. So it's at least yeah, it's hard good. to mess it up. It's hard to mess yeah. it up though. Let's it be is real. hard. It's really up. hard to mess it up. There's a few logos that some, are very hard to mess up. That's one of we've, them. We've seen some bad swinging tigers, and we've seen some bad COVID pirates. We don't really see a lot of bad uh, mama club with the 90. You know, it's funny. I got into an argument with a guy on Instagram uh, and, you know, it, every now and then if I have free time on my lunch at work, I'll, I'll argue with someone oh, on yeah. Instagram. So this guy was telling me that the only reason why I posted the chance, the rapper ox pack hat was because um, I was trying to create hype where none existed. And that, and that um, the hat was a hype hat. I'm like, if they're trying to capitalize on hype and I'm trying to capitalize on hype, why am I going to show the plain C? Yeah. yeah with, with the non 90 logo. Uh, side right. Patch. It's got the Wrigley field side patch. That's like yeah. the com- yeah. That's the most boring yeah. combo on the face of the earth. That's the with opposite like, of a hype. Yeah. Hat. And it was in Royal and it was in Royal blue too. Like they're, they're colors. So like <laughs> with the most independent like, artist with his like guy, earliest this guy, this, mixtape. This guy was dying. This guy was dying on that hill too. I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm like, you're wrong. Like, like if they were going for hype, they wouldn't have done. Then he's like, well, he's a White Sox fan. I don't give a fuck. Like, what do I care, man? Like, his name starts with C. He's Nobody from Chicago. 
Yeah. Well, they do buy Sox White Sox hats, but there's there's boring. They're more boring combos, right? White Sox hats in oh, general sure. are more boring combos. You know. I don't know, man. We saw a good one today, though. Jesus Christ. But the guy was like, he was like, just kept going and going. And I, I, I like, love yeah, when yeah. people like hyperanalyze your intentions and then tell you what your intentions were. Yeah, he's telling me I'm trying to create hype. What the fuck? Yeah. Heck, are <laughs> paying me shit? I just like the fucking hat. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever, man. And that's, uh, whatever, man. Hat community is right, some, some people in the hat community are hard to figure out. Just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, I think, that's, I think that's fair to say. All right, let's move on to the second slide of Sports World. All right, no, that red sock. Oh well, no, it's got an orange under. Like, why? It's it, it goes with the uh, they're tying it to the logo. Maybe an orange is good combo. Man. Yeah, sorry, kind of random, but it's good combo. Oh my god! Screaming for oh, oh man! Yeah, I don't know about these. Maybe the Dodgers. Maybe. Now Ty's watching too. They got the bootleg Ozzy Smith over there. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that Cub is like that. That Cubs hat's pretty bad, right? That Cubs hat blows out every time it goes up. It's crazy. It's People weird. love that wavy Cub. That's a weird. I don't know. That's the, that's the pregnant mama Cub. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's carrying a bill? It looks more like it's carrying a billboard, or does it look more pregnant? Like, like you know, one of those. It looks like it's got a big, big belly. Yeah, or shaved belly. Like it, like it, it swallowed the Cubs logo, <laughs> or, or it's just shaved. All the white parts yeah. are the shaved yeah. parts. What's your favorite yeah. hat on the slide? Mine might be that swinging fryer at the bottom. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, I might actually like the. Uh, I like the Boston right in the middle. The Boston's okay, but it it honestly feels like everyone just figured out this logo like recently or something. That that patch is just <laughs> we've seen. No, like... that patch was only that patch was only available before on Pittsburgh Pirates hats. Okay, for many Several years, and then they opened it up for for um, the Red Sox, who won the World Series that year. It's just very odd. Yeah, it seems like we keep seeing it now. But these white, cool why logo. aren't there colored buttons on these hats though? Like it, like every they... one of them. I don't know if they believe in that in, in uh, on Jamaica app because both them and exclusive continue to, to put the chrome buttons on top. Maybe they're just forgetting to fill in that 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 field on the form. that could that could be. Jesus, these are really though the, it really does take away from the hat. If you put it that does. the right one in the Cubs hat, it looks nice. Yep. Mm -hmm. Especially the Boston one. I'm with you. The Boston hat's not bad, but the I don't know. The button is just, it, it's, it's going to be a deal breaker for me now. Sorry, oh, sorry, Gate Crasher. I'm not buying a hat and then having to do more work on it in order to wear it. <laughs> it should come ready nah. to wear. There's no assembly required when I'm buying hats. Oh, yeah. You Agreed. don't need to take a, a fabric marker to it. And yeah. Hope you nope. don't damage it. No, that's too much work. At least that, Cardinals, that Cardinals hat in the lower left is, is terrible. Oh, yeah. The ass out Cardinal. That's no good. Yeah, it's not even about that. Look at the colors on that thing. Brown and peach yeah. is always good. Nah, it's they, they, they didn't, it's they didn't color punch. the logo right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. The logo looks all weird, man. Mm -hmm. Some sort of like red or orange. Like you need some sort of punch on that style. I am not taking a sharpie to my hats. No, <laughs> don't do sharpies. Sharpies bleed once they get wet, and you they wear them. They should come pre-assembled. All right, let's move on. To number. Fourth, let's move on to the fourth quarter shot. We haven't had them on here in a while. Nah, they just they've been doing a lot of program hat lately, hats lately. So, um, but these were a couple of customs they dropped this. Week. Is that like a corduroy brim on that one or no? I can't really see it well. No, uh, no, no, I don't think so. Was that a Prince hook or something? Didn't they do a Prince hook lately? Uh, in LA, be that purple in LA. One. I feel like one of these stores did a Prince hook lately. I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering. That White Sox hat, I, I I don't like the combo black with blue. No. All right, let's move on. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> All right. So we had uh, six hats drop over at Sneaker Town. Um, these are these are good, man. Yeah, these are good. I definitely that Boston hat is great. The two off whites yeah. are really nice too. Yep. Even San Francisco mm-hmm. is good, man. They're all good. <clears throat> I, I don't know. They're all good. I don't. The Diamondbacks is probably the weakest one to me on the slide. Is that if it, is that infrared? If that's infrared, I like it. That's infrared with a. Uh, it's not. I don't think it's peach. It's a little darker than that. Uh, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Yeah. Diamondbacks, but I'm. Yeah. I like those funky colors. So. That San Diego like one it? is is so good in hand. What do you like best on this slide, guys? Mariners. I think. The Mariners. Uh, but they, the Hat Club did one just like that, though, with theirs, right? Did they? I don't remember. There's so I, many like white off white right. hats now. You can thank John J. For, you can thank John Jay for that thing, right? That. Yeah. That's one. Uh, that's undeniable. Yeah. My bank account blames you though, because it's you that influenced me to like it. I think. Uh, I love it directly or indirectly. Yeah. Yeah. I love them. Uh, that Red Sox hat is good too. Yep. Yeah. I'm going with the San Diego on this this page. I don't know. Just that color combo is getting me. It's almost a tonal over under, right? Almost or not really? No, it's uh, it's like a tan and a peach. Okay. Kind of like the logo. Cool. Cubs is slick too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys ready to move on to Lids Hat Drop? That. So, um, before we get started here, we were, you know, we wanted to kind of announce that we'll be heading out to Lids. Um, I think it's on uh, April 11th. Or so. Ten days. Yeah, 11. Way, yeah. 11 to 13. We'll be heading over there to hang out with uh, with Britain and his crew over there, which I'm really excited for. I know you guys are too. Um, mm-hmm. So we're gonna get we're gonna get the three of us back together. We got some special surprises for everybody too. We're gonna do a couple of videos while we're out there. Uh, we got some other cool stuff going on, um, but you know, listen, I think it's going to be a fun time, and um, we'll we'll definitely like do some um, perhaps some live streaming like off the cuff, maybe I don't know, not on YouTube, but maybe Instagram. We'll we'll get our we'll get our phones out and do a little live stream or something. But um, we're gonna have a fun time out there, and I want to thank um, I want to thank Britain for inviting us out there. That's it's it's a really great gesture on his part. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna get to spend some time with Andy. And the team over there, I am I am certainly excited. And um, this collection here, let's talk about this. Um, I I don't listen. I, you know me, I like crazy, right? So Roy G. Bibb was right up my alley, and I happen to like these a lot. Um, now there's some that I don't like, but in general, um, you know, I, I like these colors. I just think I just think they're cool. They're like Copas, but major league versions of Copas, in my opinion. Um, which is which is pretty cool, but um, different. So I'd love to hear um, hear from you guys. Uh, what are you guys thinking here, like uh, Leon and Jason? And for all of you out there, why don't you pick the two that you like most, um, if there are two you like most? Um, so what are your thoughts, guys? I got two of them. Um, okay. Honestly, you know, I'm a I'm a pinwheel kind of guy, a white front kind of guy. Um, I would have preferred this if the whole back panel was black. Uh, I got mm. it in hand and I'm not disappointed with it, but I, th- I think if it was all black on the back, it would have, would have put it over the top. What's the, under? that's nitpicking though. I mean, like they did a great job coloring the side patches and, and some of the, some of the front logos. Um, yeah, I took a flyer on it. And I'll wear it around, but what's what's the under on this? That purplish color? Uh, it's on the next slide. Yeah, it's okay. that that uh, hot pink. Okay. Yeah. Why that... don't we do a little keep? Why don't we do a little keep two drop two guys? How about that? Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right, I'm why don't you start, Leon? Uh, Astros prototype Cubs. Um, I probably took Jason's answers. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm yeah, those drop. are the, those those are the two I bought. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna drop the Miami. Oh come on, that's the one that fits best. Do what really? you want, but I, I, yeah. yeah, that one to me fits the theme best. And I'm gonna drop the uh, Kansas. Reason being is I think the ones with a lot of white 
or a lot of yellow in the front logo look the worst. Okay. I would have kept I, I'd keep Miami and KC for me. Okay. I think I would I don't know. I would drop the White Sox. White Sox, where are you? Okay. I, I feel probably, like the yellow, the yellow and the white doesn't work well on the white. Yeah. I probably drop the diamondbacks too. I'm dropping diamondbacks and the Indians mismatched side patch. Yeah. I mean, at that point, just the angels. That's got the angels one, right? Yeah. Yeah. At that point, just don't use a patch. Yeah. There's only one, there's only one patch available for that Indians logo. And that's, that's what I mean. Like American league patch. Yeah. Just drop it. Like it, it looks fine without the patch. Like. Uh, they, they in the past they have used a Jacobs Field patch on it, but oh right, <clears> right. <throat> it might not be available anymore. I guess. All right, let's move on to the second slide of these. I think I like the first slide better. Yeah, I like the first slide better too. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't what's that? Uh, pirates ain't bad. No, nah, Pirates ain't bad. San Diego. Um, Miami. Yeah, San Diego I kind of like, I guess. Yeah. The Twins is always a winner when you can do two different colors with the Twin Cities logo, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It helps. I see, this was colorway number one, right? Yep. Yeah. The, right, the, the Day of the Dead, what they called it. All right, let's move on to the next slide, guys. Uh, night sky. All right. So why don't we do a poll, um, Jason, uh, which one's better? So we just had the other poll, which is, uh, would you cop or drop, uh, the day of the dead? Now let's do a, a poll, um, that kind of pits these two against each other and still 30% of our viewers, uh, felt like they would cop, uh, day of the dead. Um, and as we look at this, um, there's a few that I really like, but there's some that look washed on the front, right? Like, Oh, wait. At- yeah. When you look at the Cubs, when you look at the uh, when you look at the uh, Red Sox, I hate that Red Sox combo. I can't stand that Red Sox front logo. <laughs> I can't stand it. Tigers, Marlins, um, even the Astros side patch, Rocky side patch. Yeah, um, the Diamondback side patch for sure. It's like the the film wasn't exposed long enough. I mean, compared to the Braves one, it uses the same colors. Yeah. Well, I think the difference maker is the outline, right? But even on the inner, though, the, the colors pop more on the Braves one than it does on like the diamond. Well, the problem with the Cubs and the Red Sox is that the backdrop is white and the and the differentiator is like yellow. Oh, so I, got- I'm sorry. I was I was talking about the side patches, not the front. Logo. Oh, the side patches. My fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. see. I see. Yeah. The side patches all look good to me, though. They don't look bad. The front logos that I I take exception to on a few of these. All right, let's take a look at the last slide. Pirates is definitely washed. Yeah, like sat in the sun too long. Things the white and the yellow don't play well together. That that um that Mariners I don't mind though. And the pink looks almost faded, like the you see the Cardinals. Yep. The pink's like faded pink, or I don't know if that's just the color how it comes, or it's probably a softer pink, right? So it might be. It might be because it's where it's paired next to the blue. I don't know. These are hats too that I I do, and I'm not just saying this uh, for the sake of lids, but I do think these are ones that would look better in hand than on pictures. We have to kind of remember that as well. These colors are really hard to uh, photograph. That's true. I think Milwaukee would be nice too, though. Mm -hmm. (laughs) All right. Well, more to come from uh, Lids. They've got some stuff coming. Uh, And we saw a little preview, right? Did you guys see that where uh, Britain kind of leaked some stuff? No, I didn't. Uh, Yeah, they showed some sweatbands and some unders. That, that That suggests what, Jason? The, it's written right on there, right? Oh yeah, they're using um, custom lining, custom tape, and and uh, colored sweatbands. 
and collaborating. Oh, so, I didn't see that. Yeah. Well, I'll leave it at that. So take a closer look, everybody, if you want. Uh, I know there's some pictures uh, kind of floating around out there. And we'll move on from lids and move over to exclusive fitted. So um, right across the street from Sports World in, uh, in, uh, in Queens on Jamaica Avenue is exclusive fitted. And uh, I wouldn't cross the street today. Um, I don't think. I would not cross the street to go to exclusive fitted if this is what was in there today. <laughs> These are terribly bad. Are the buttons? They, they didn't do the Who white button. gives though? a damn. Who cares what color button it is? You don't even need to get there. It's like I can't even get by the patch on the Astros. Um, not bad. The Cubs not bad. What? Uh, the button is appropriately colored on these. All right, it is steel. I'll take these over to Sports World ones. Cool. Yeah, I think you're crazy. I crazy. Think you're even with the even with the wrong button, the what's color wrong, combos on the other one. Are, the, what's wrong with the Cub one? The Cub Dude, one come is, on, is man. Fine. It's fine, sure. But like that like Tigers. The All right, the Tigers. We, we... I Houston mean, if the Tigers like didn't a... have a side patch, that'd be a good. That'd be a good hat. Well, it look like really a Pistons good. hat. It look like an old but, Pistons hat. But you can't. Yeah. So I don't know if you can use that logo without the side patch. Nobody does. I think you. You could. And yeah, you should be. Able you to. could, yeah, yeah, you could. But I mean, no one's gonna try that. Hat heaven, hat heaven will try it and do it well, but these are yeah. these are atrocious, right? I'm not bad. That one is fine. I'm not mad at the off white, teal, and red. I don't mind those. Yeah, you like the colors, I guess. But that you like that Cub side patch with that front logo. That's the problem. That's that bothers me second to the colors. Uh, that patch sucks, but it's not like egregious or like. Whatever. I put up with the side patch to get the front logo. I don't know. I've been kind of low key obsessed with non Cub C hats lately. Yeah. But, um, this one, this slide's making me nauseous. Let's move on to MILB. <laughs> I'm all purple blued out too. All right. So all we right. have some Copa offerings here. Listen, yeah. we do. I've, 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 um, I've uh, cracked the seal on Black Nasty, so I'm wearing one today. I might, I might have to wear some more now and then. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna make a commitment to wear one Black Nasty a month. Ooh. Jason Mead, if I'm wearing one Black Nasty from this slide next month, what's it gonna be? Do you think? Oh, uh, you gotta go with the Quad City River Bandits. Isn't that Serapi under? No, it's it's black. It's an on field. It's an on field. Okay. Okay. But they they somebody should definitely take that and do a Serapi under. For I sure. think someone someone posted that hat with us Rappi under. Then they they did their own switch on it. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Snapback God said not the cow titties. Utters. No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what is SpongeBob's old half dead grandfather doing in that top middle hat? What is that? That is the quesos. So it's like a chunk of queso blanco. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these logos are good, man. Like some of them are. I mean, pickles, cool. upper left is good. Quad City's good. That flaming pickle thing looks good. The Ninos Picantes to the Great Lakes Loons. That's a good look. At, that's a good looking logo. It is. I kind of like what they just threw in the mock up there, <laughs> just to kind of hide the mock up. <laughs> I love no, but you know what I loved? I loved when Hat Club. Remember when Hat Club ran them back and kind of mix remixed the colors and put gray bottoms on them. Oh yeah, I really yeah. Like those. I mean, I'm hoping somebody takes these and puts grays or greens on all of them. Yeah, they would. I, well, I don't know if they. I don't know. I've never seen them do it with the original colors. If you notice, like when you do see them come back, yeah, it's always yeah. with yeah. like remixed sure. colors. That's fine. I'll take that too. I mean, some of these logos are good enough. But yeah, that that Quad City one needs to come back with a Serape under, for sure. Yeah, I would. I'm, Jason, you were right. I would go quad C. The next one I would go is upper left, which you said is what? That is the new uh, Corpus Christi Combias. Okay. I like that logo, too. That's pretty cool looking. Mm -hmm. I do flame and pickle, but I'll change up the hat. I kind of like the St. Paul Saints, the little, little pig angel. Uh, you like that one? Yeah. 
The Santos de St. Paul. Yeah, I think I'm okay weird. on that one. They colored it like they would color like a like a human skull. It's weird. Mm-hmm. I guess the Day of a Dead inspired sugar skull. Yeah, but they don't do that to pigs, though. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like a weird cultural thing. All right. Well, guys, you ready to move on to four U caps? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So four U caps had the beer pack. That was uh, developed by Leon Blue Brims along with the team at 4U Caps. Um, and this set, six hat pack uh, was uh, a re release and did pretty darn well. Um, any thoughts on these, Jason? We did do a video on these, but I'd love to hear from you, Jason, because Leon's kind of talked about these already. What are your thoughts on this pack, Jason? Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty good hooks. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, they all, they all hit the label like right on the head. So, good job, Leon and Blue Brims. Thanks. The white, the white ones are uh, cotton too, I believe. So a little bit different. There's a lot of white. There's a lot of you use a lot of white crowns, Leon. For a guy of your size that sweats <laughs> as much as you do, it's odd to see that many white crowns. Well, here's the thing: I never really wear them often enough to get them dirty. But uh, right. made sure the brims weren't white though, because that's usually where the the damage happens. And people may be wondering, how do I know Leon sweats? Well, because we were out in uh, Anaheim, and I watched him toil through a a, a hundred yard walk from the car to our booth. It was also hundred degrees in November. It was weird, right? Like it just came out of nowhere. Hundred degrees. Yeah. Hundred degrees. So they don't own jackets over there. I swear. You guys, um, some. These guys in the comments don't own enough cotton hats. Cotton is fantastic. Cotton is great. I love, I love cotton. Yeah. I'd take cotton over lower polish. <laughs> John Ink Park said he's correcting you, Leon. He's like, it was 90. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Leon was sweating in Buffalo, though. I round up. Was, I round uh, up my numbers. It felt like 100. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. John, John, by the time John showed up, it was almost nighttime. So it made it <laughs> 90 degrees by the time he showed up. But when we were working and doing those walks, it was definitely yeah, 100. Yeah, John John conveniently <laughs> showed up after we unloaded all the vehicles of the stuff. Oh, John knows. John, yeah, John rolled up with, like, his little two-wheeler, right? He yeah. Hey, guys, you need over. anything? He was actually like, Hey, guys, the I, what, what I miss? What I miss? Yeah. You missed yeah. all the work, John. Yeah. You hey, guys, you need work. anything? Yeah, we needed you to show up three hours earlier, John. <laughs> yeah, he was he was parked across the street <laughs> waiting for you guys to finish. And yeah, he, he was just doing circles. He was just doing circles. Yeah, we love you, John. Yeah. All right, so uh, nice job, Leon. Nice job for you, Caps. Let's move on to Magic Sneaker. Okay. They stole one of my favorite hats from the Lids Cobra Kai pack, that's for sure. That was one of my favorites from that pack. So if you missed out, here's your chance to grab it. I love that. I actually love that hat. So if you're going to steal something from Lids, that's the one. Um, That Padres hat ain't bad. Yeah, Padres. The, this kind of butterfingery looking Boston hat ain't bad. That's no, that Diamondbacks hat. hat. That Diamondbacks hat is atrocious, though. Yeah, that's, that's my word nice. of the day. That's my word of the day. I think atrocious. Mm-hmm. That looks like a tennis ball. Oh. Tariq says Angels is from Capsule. Okay, oh. I can see that. Uh, that like- that Boston Boston one was almost there until you flip it over. Well. Blue, blue over, blue over, blue under. Yep. Yeah. A t- tonal undervisor. Jesus, Jason, nothing gets Jason's goat like a tonal <laughs> undervisor. He I will, I will wear a black nasty three times every day over a tonal <laughs> undervisor. I'm telling you right now, I'm wearing one right now, and it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I felt like I don't know. It was sucks. Uh, I got a this bunch a of good these. hat though, right? This is a good hat. That's a fantastic hat. I got a bunch of these collar hats in, and they were all. Tonal, tonal over under. It's 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 just lazy, yeah. just plain lazy. Gray gray would have changed. Just it's just like you can't you can't like just check a different color in one spot on the order form. <laughs> That's yeah, all it whatever. takes. Just send it's it. Lazy blue hat. Make it all blue. Send it. Lazy. What's your favorite hat on this slide, guys? Mine's the Padres, I think. Well, no, I'd say the Giants one. Yeah. Then the Padres. Padres. I wish they used a darker blue on that uh, Boston hat. I'm I'm just so upset about the UV on the Boston one. I can't I can't even pick a favorite on the screen. 
I got to tell you, you've really been on the Boston train lately. I, I do. That's a great logo. It's a great patch. That's a great colorway. They just use way too much of it. Yeah. I should have stopped at the visor and changed it up. Yeah. All right. Well, oh, wait. And that Diamondbacks hat, that's like a spring. That's a spring training one. A spring yeah. training logo. Yeah. That's one of the ones that actually kind of works, right? Because they had enough space to fill in the secondary logo. Listen, I mean, that's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> like that's a stretch. I, that's a stretch. Like all I those mean, things. Comp- compare those to the other ones. Though. The only one that's good from those to me is the Mariners. Or well, Toronto. Yeah, but it's Toronto. Toronto was okay. Toronto was yeah. the Leaf, and then it had half the Blue Jay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. You you need a big space. You need a big space. If you try to cram it in a little. The Mariners good. one works without a big space though. Yeah. All right. Let's let's move on here, guys. Let's go to sneaker room. I do like that hat. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's like that lavender fields, but yep. sneaker rooms version, right? I know. I know. I don't think lavender fields had a Rockies in it, did it? No, it didn't. It didn't. Yeah, That's yeah. what I'm saying. But it's like the colorway, yeah. you know. It's like, yeah. Oh yeah, very similar to that. I, I'm I'm over the the I'm I still love it, but I'm not buying any more Rockies with 25th anniversary. It's got it's got to it's got to really wow me. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be really good. This is close though. This is a good one. This is a good hat. It's just not it doesn't have that wow factor. That two tone that we're gonna see from Toppers later in the show is fantastic. That was a wow factor. Yeah, that one was good. Know. All right, so let's move on. Let's do a special preview here. Okay. All right, so Pro Image Sports um, out of Philly, um, New Jersey area, did a four-pack SpongeBob pack. So we thought we'd um, take this opportunity to show it. We don't want to do a standalone video on these because they're, they're having quite a few SpongeBob packs, right? Uh-huh. But um, I just want to I just want to kind of show these in hand so people get a feel for what's dropping tomorrow on Pro Image um, in New Jersey, um, Philadelphia. So. We'll have some of those things. Maybe Leon, you can make sure that those things get into the comment into the description of the video, right? Yeah, no problem. All right. So this is the Patrick. And I'm gonna say something though. I think this is the best Patrick of them all. That I will say. That's a good one. This Patrick is good. Next up, we'll go to uh Squidward. St. Louis this time. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I do like the how they colored the patch though. That's pretty cool. All right, I ain't mad at that. Next up, we'll go Sandy Cheeks. Everyone was saying why is Cincinnati hat when I said it was Sandy, because she has cheeks. Okay, I was wondering what who the Cincinnati. Okay. This I like this hat though. Otherwise, even if it's not hooked, this hat I do like. Yeah. And then finally, okay, SpongeBob. All right, all right. So these are dropping tomorrow at the uh, Pro Image stores in the Philly, New Jersey area, and Fan Treasures at one after the store. Um, after the store release, uh, one p.m. You can buy one of two ways. This is a new edition now. So you can either DM the stores or fantreasures.com. Ooh, that's different. Their website. So just be ready. Oh. That's a different way. That's They're selling in yeah. a different way, which is going to be more convenient for customers. Um, nice. So you can either do the tried and true way that you've always done, which is which is uh, DMing the stores, the store of your choice, or you can go on the Fan Treasures website. Leon will add that to the description of the video um, to make sure that you all know that. Sound good? All right. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get back to the show. That's exciting. That's good, good, good. Ooh. All right. This is the cap I'm wearing right now. And I'm going to tell mm-hmm. you right now, I'm, I'm not saying it because it's new. I think this is the best City Connect hat so far. Not Jersey. Hat. Okay. Uh, that's not even close. If you're looking at just, if you, if you just look them at at the hats, 
this is by far the best hat they've done. I think Nike is, is I think, I think teams are seeing what Nike did last year and giving them a little more leeway. They knocked this one out of the park. I cannot wait to see what else comes out this year. Yeah, this is, um, yeah. And, and gate crashers asking that I show the Jersey. Um, I will say, uh, you go into my Instagram if you want and, and just take a look there, but, or the views in the vault Instagram, I posted it in both places and you can see the detail, like the sublimated, like cherry blossoms throughout the Jersey. It's fantastic. But when it comes to the hats, right, I would go, this is, this is, this is the best by far. Dude, I think the Matt, Jersey, sec the Jersey second only to Florida and perhaps Chicago White Sox. I do like the White yeah. Sox Jersey. I love the White Sox yeah. Jersey. So Matt's saying White Sox have the best city connect and, and combo wise, they're right up there. But the hat itself? No, nah, the hat. No, it's no, no, no. No, the, no, yeah. the hat. The hat basically said shy instead of socks. That's the only thing I changed on it. Yeah. I'm talking just hat. Yeah. This is the best hat by far. I feel oh, like yeah. these these ones get more points because it's so different than the regular stuff. If you just do a mm -hmm. regular spin on your normal colorway and, and logos, it doesn't really impress me that much. Mm -hmm. And the cherry blossoms weren't done corny. Yeah. No, like it they looks just like embroidered it, on the side or. They were integrated into the entire hat. This will pro this could potentially be the best on field hat that I've seen in Major League Baseball in what like a decade. I mean, it's just different. Yeah. yeah. I, I I have a soft spot for uh, Arizona though. Arizona and Florida really did good jobs too. The hat execution on Arizona is no good, but they put logos in the system that made it cool. No, Arizona was terrible. Arizona's was absolutely Arizona was the it, worst. They changed the I color think, of no, the hat. No, that that the hat that they used was was ugly, but they put. Cool I think the offshoots, in the, the offshoots from it. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, the offshoots from it, the stuff that was extracted from the jersey that they had side yeah. patch yeah. options and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. That was great. Like the White Sox South Side, great logo. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I love logo. the city. I love the city connect concept. Oh, I do. I'm. It's I'm opening, all in on it. It's opening possibilities. It's creating like a, a cooler vibe to, to the sport because it's like creating some trendier stuff, which is good, man. I mean, I'm sick. Who cares about all this other stuff? Like, you know, like this NY all the time. Like, let's do some different stuff. And this one's done right. It's done right. So there's a couple um, of questions. Skittles, more stores will be getting these, I think, April 4th. Right now, it's just the Washington Nationals that have these and New Era Cap. I think April 4th, they're going to open it up to, to more avenues. Um, and we have not seen the other six teams that are coming out this year. So we haven't seen. No, they, they keep these before. under lids pretty good. Yep. <clears throat> like even last year, the, the Red Sox leaked a little bit early, but then after that, you didn't really see much. The worst right. of them all is San Francisco by far. San Francisco. Yeah, they, they mailed it in. Well, Dodgers was bad too. No, no, Dodgers at least was classy looking. The, the San Francisco one looked like trash. <laughs> You know, and there's not even anything good to do with it. Yeah. But those two, I would say, really phoned it in. And they had the most time. They released the latest out of all of them, right? What's that? That was more That was more just release calendar. I'm sure yeah. production was all done at the same time. Fair enough. Well, this one, had, this one and the Red Sox one had to be done at a certain times. So the Red Sox one was to commemorate 2013, right? With the, with yeah. the Boston yeah. Marathon bombings and that that um that 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 whole that whole that whole piece this one cherry blossom season is like right now yeah right it's coming april. like the early yeah. like late march early april is when cherry mm -hmm. blossom so these two had to be uh be released at specific times in order to really um commemorate what they're looking to commemorate so nice job uh with this i mean these these are great man these are great yeah, don't the don't yeah don't pay resell if that's what you guys are saying for for city connect hats yeah, they may disappear for a little bit. They'll, they'll come back. New Era Cap just restocked all of last year's hats. Uh, you'll be able to get these. Don't worry about finding these. So Cis Cisco uh, begs to differ on the Giants. I, I don't know. It's, it's not nothing personal. I just think that the Giants didn't really go out the box. They just commemorated their little bridge and threw orange on it. But if you like it, you like it. Yeah. Yeah, Cisco, I, you're, you're a big supporter of the channel, and, and, and I love having you on here, but I couldn't disagree more. I don't know. I just didn't like it. Yeah. The jersey was white, too. Yeah, and then the hat just had the bridge just in one panel. It was, like, strange. I don't know. I think it was better, way better than the Arizona one. Arizona right. one. Too. The Arizona, the Arizona, Arizona one was wearable, though. 
It was tan what black. Huh? What? No, I was saying at least the Arizona one was wearable. At least tan. No, the black. Arizona the Arizona on field was fucking terrible. What was great about the Arizona City Connect was they took the it's snake true. and they took that little that little triangle logo and stuff mm-hmm. and they they leveraged it in different ways. Like John Jay Hat Club did it, and yeah. they and Toppers did it. That was great. You know, to me, at least they use like at least they used a color that they don't even normally wear. Yeah, like who cares? The they didn't change the hat at all. They just used the different <laughs> the Jets color. already wear orange all the time. It's like I don't yeah, know. but they put a bridge on their hat. Oh, you can't bridge. do that overnight. The bridge. Yeah, do 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 uh, do a few. Oh. Do a few. I do think um, I do agree with you. The Arizona jersey was great. I wore every one of the jerseys when they came out on the oh, show. The jerseys were fantastic. No, nah, I didn't wear the Giants one though. If you go back and watch the shows, when each one released, I wore the show. I wore the jersey on this week in caps. The only one I didn't wear was the Giants. Yeah. All right, let's move on. I can't wait for the rest of them. These I can wait for. (laughs) Oh, my God. What in God's name are these? Did they do every team in this? They they did. did. I was not not going to subject our viewers' eyes to every single They did blackout versions, too. Uh, they did blackout versions for about half the teams. Well, if there was a set of hats that was going to make me gag, this is it. These are fucking terrible, what? man. Oh, my God, man. You, you think it would have been better without the white? I think it would have been better if they just said, hey, listen, let's not do this. Right, right. Because none of these guys are actually going to wear these on stage anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the bonus is, though, they did finally go to gray bottoms. Gray UVs. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So the the, the Raider one has the tonal top bottom. Raider one has the tonal UV, but <laughs> to be that's your just because they're team colors. <laughs> to be these, are team. Still, these are these are still absolute <clears throat> trash. So let's move on to Hack Club. Yeah. All right. Burger Pack. All right. Isn't that is that T? That's Whataburger, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't get the Texas guys started. No, listen, man. Everyone's all Houston, fired up. The These Houston Texas guys. guys, they hate each other, man. They're like, hey, you're from Houston. Oh. Fuck you. You're from Arlington. Fuck you. Like, it's like, yeah, well, yeah. Dallas. Dallas, Dallas like, you, yeah, DFW doesn't like Houston. Mm-hmm. And vice versa. These are well, these are good. These are these are these are solid, man. These are solid. Yeah. My favorite like hat them. aesthetically is the Marlins. Okay. Uh my, mine's uh, the the A's, Oakland. I like that he did a fictional one, the Krusty Burger, but they could could they have used a smaller patch? Holy man, it's like a size yeah, that's, of a pin. That's one you just leave the patch off. Yeah, just don't do the patch, man. That's like using the league patch. That is the league patch. That's a small one. It gives people more room to add pins, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I like I like this collection. Is there a Five Guys? No, right? Nope. No, I don't no think Five so. Guys. Five guys would be Philly, though. Five guys would have been Philly because they started in Philadelphia, I think. Didn't they? Five guys' colors are pretty boring. It's red it's and white. Black, red and white, yeah. Yeah. Like you did a Toronto one. That's Harvey's for uh, the American viewers. We have no idea what that is. <laughs> nah. Yeah, is that? do they have good burgers there, Leon? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, they use... Uh, no, no hormones and steroids and antibiotics, that kind of stuff. Only organic, free-range moose. So, what's the Cleveland one? That's Wendy's. What's the Miami one? Burger, Burger King. King. Burger King. Mm-hmm. So they they hook these to the the origins of the restaurants. Yeah, wherever the first location was. Ah, uh, yep. I got you. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. The cr- yeah, the Krusty like- Burger is just because it's the Albuquerque team was named after at the Simpsons. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Tokes, yeah. yeah. I did, which, I, which I think is what got the the Houston crowd all fired up about the Wahlburgers because are not Wahlburgers, Whataburger. No, that Whataburger. Founded, yeah, that was founded in Corpus Christi, which is very close to Houston. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, there's that pack. Now we move on. Is it tacos next? Tacos. Yeah. Wart Senior, the other LA is uh, uh, In and Out, not McDonald's. Yeah, there's In and Out and uh, McDonald's. Yeah. 
All right, so take me through these. What, what, which, so Taco Bell is a Tampa Bay one. Taco Del Bell, Taco Bell, Bell, and Del Taco. Oh. Del Taco is pretty ugly. I like it. The one on the bottom? Yeah, I do. I did pick it up, but it's ugly as hell. No, I like it. I, they, well, maybe it's it's because it's an uglified version of that logo that I find my, I like that logo. Yeah. So like, let's make Fast it. Let's make enough. Yeah. I don't Is know. The Lehigh, the Lehigh Taco Bell as well? It's a yeah, Bell. it's old Taco Bell, right? Mm. Yeah. And then new Taco Bell. And then Del Taco. Fair enough. I'm not a they, taco they, guy. They miss Taco John's. Taco what? Those. Taco John's. Never it's better than all three, all both of these places. Really? Mm-hmm. That sounds like a that sounds like diarrhea waiting to happen. Well, it's a taco it's a John's. fast food taco place that basically is you're talking diarrhea no matter what what place you get at. But they got a Taco Bravo, which is a like a double decker taco. It's fantastic. All right, let's move on to uh, the next slide of uh, Hack Club. Yeah, th- some of these were really well done. So I'd love to hear from everybody out there. What were the two that you liked best from this slide? Um, I do think there are some fantastic uh, selections in this uh, mm-hmm. White Dome collection. Um, my personal favorites from this slide happen to be Brooklyn, the Houston in the lower right, and the Orioles. But I'd love to hear from uh, you, Jason Mead. Which, uh, which two are you liking best here? Uh, Brooklyn for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I got to decide. Uh, I'll go with the the Tigers. Mm. In its natural that. form. Yeah, I feel like I've seen oh, that. We we have. Yeah, I still like it. What about you? Leo? I mean, none of these none of these are groundbreaking, right? No. No. If they released this a year ago, people would be riding for them <laughs> but uh yeah i mean obviously brooklyn um and now that i'm seeing it on the screen i'm regretting not getting the orioles but i, I did end up getting the uh braves yeah i don't remember what i got this is good too not feeling the rockies though i feel like that purple is like kind of sad is that their old purple or something or is that the purple they use Honestly, the purple they use. Yeah. Sad purple. Sad purple. Let's move on the next one. Yeah, it does. I see what you're saying. It looks a little faded. Yeah. I like some of these. I do like the uh, Milwaukee dead center. I like that one. The Mm -hmm. Dodgers is real nice. The uh, Expos, you really – now everyone's getting a hold of that 25th anniversary patch. That wasn't in the system. Oh, okay. No. No, nah, you saw John Jay, for the Expos. That, John, Day, John Jay did on that uh, pinwheel hat. We'll probably see that later, I think. Maybe. That Royals um, is slick. No, I'm seeing it. Yeah, Royals is good, but I like the two Milwaukee's best, I think, on this slide. Mm-hmm. You can never go wrong off white blue. No. All right, let's go to the last slide. Giant sticks out. Pirates. Jays. I like the te- I, I like the Texas one, man. The stomper I've, I've been like liking- stupid. What's that? The mini stomper. Yeah, it doesn't look good. I do like that Texas one though. I, I don't know. I've been liking Texas hats a lot lately. San Diego. San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. No, San Diego, right, San Diego reminds me of when uh, my fitted did their first run and they put Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh had a yellow P on the, on the off white. It just, I don't know. It doesn't pop enough, man. How are you feeling about this uh, devil race? Okay. I feel it's, it's right. kind of weird with the trop patch. Yeah, it is kind of odd, the coloring on it, but. I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool, I guess. That's probably the original colors of that patch. I don't think they changed many colors on this set, did they? Mm, I think that trout patch is like pouring like their, their current colorway. Maybe. Mm. I don't know. They've been playing forever at that dumb stadium. 
That stadium is the worst. Dude, it's got uh, like in, indoor soccer rules. Like if you hit the, hit the roof, depending on where you hit the roof, it might be a home run, it might be a double. That's it ridiculous, man. How many soccer teams do you know hitting the roof of a dome stadium? <laughs> I don't know. But why are you playing baseball in a place where you can hit the roof? While yeah, kind of, it make any sense. yeah I, I, I don't know if I can get I with mean, it's the, the, the soccer analogy, but as much as I hate soccer, I, I, I don't think I get behind that soccer analogy, but the stadium is r- ridiculous. Yeah. All right, let's move on to toppers. All right, so toppers starts us starts us off with their uh, minor league Monday, mm-hmm. and uh, I mean these are solid, man. I think I'm more. I think I like the Sultans the best. But how about you guys? Oh, Sultans for sure. It's been a while yeah. since we've seen at least five years since I've seen that logo. Um, the Lynx is really good. Yeah, the Lynx, Ottawa. The Sultans are part of the hometown collection. I think I have. Right, I and I think that was like 2016 or 2017 when they last did that one. Yeah, I have a couple of those. I don't. Um, I I don't know. I did Hackle do do a Sultans? Not that I remember, but they may they may have done one before I started paying attention to Hat Club. I feel like yeah, yeah. before. Yeah, but they're these are good. JM the soccer hate. I don't know. What do you like the best, okay. Leon? You like uh, you like the Sultans too? I like the Sultans. I like the uh, Ottawa Lynx. Both the bottom. yeah, the Ottawa one's, one's pretty cool. I'm I'm done with the tacos on the hats, man. Yeah. All right. That was one That's of the one ones that, that really kind of started, right? The food hats. One of the ones. Uh, I, I would say that, that I would be one. That was probably the one, but I think the 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 real the real um, pioneers in terms of minor league logo evolution was uh was the lehigh valley iron pigs they're the ones that really did some crazy shit because they had like they had like uh a rivalry hat with another team that had like yeah, bacon and rings on it yeah oh no wait yeah it uh, might have been lehigh had a, a battle with fresno for tacos versus bacon or whatever well no but there's a bacon and egg no it was, it was it was it was a toledo versus lehigh that's right, Mud Toledo Mud, Mud, Mud Hens, Toledo Mud the... Hens, because they were the egg, and then yeah. yeah, and then Lehigh Valley was the bacon. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they did battle bacon versus tacos as well, and then a separate battle. They were like kind of like fighting each other. Do you remember those hats? No. no. Oh, wait a second, me? No. I'll show. I'll show you my affair. But it it, it right. was the same kind of thing. It was but Lehigh like, Valley, it's not Lehigh Valley was the team, like the minor league organization that really like pushed the envelope with with logos, in my opinion. The theme nights uh, and the well, merch. Fresno did. Um, Jacksonville did a lot. Hartford Yard Goats did a lot. No, no, no. It started with yeah, they did, but Lehigh yeah. Valley started it. Hartford Yard Goats was late to the game because they haven't been around as long. I think a lot of them are where the like, brand deals clients and they kind of mm-hmm. set the, mm-hmm. the template and then as they you know, kind of expanded into more teams. Because Hartford Yard Goats had French fries in those steamers, the steamer night, right? Yeah. They did do a lot of event nights. You're right, Jason. But I think it, I, I'm saying who who was really doing it first. Mm-hmm. It felt like it was Lehigh Valley. Ch- Chihuahuas was up there too. Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas, yes. Yeah. Right. But it, it, yeah. I think Casey and his team over there were, were kind of like the pushers of a lot of that stuff silently. Yeah, it was cool though. It's it's cool stuff to have those event nights and whatnot, right? Mm-hmm. Sells merch. That's it. Let's move on to the second slide of toppers. All right. And a little restock. A little restock. Hey, there's some good stuff on here, man. Saturday was deadly. He did the, a bunch of those like kind of black dome colorway hats mm. last Saturday. Was it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you guys feel about you? What do you guys feel about the uh, the the Cubs hat in the lower middle? Love it. Yeah, me too. I do. Is that mm-hmm. the first time he did it? That's a restock, right? That's mm-hmm. the first, first time he's done that one. First time he's done it. And while we're here, guys, like Jam, thank you for reminding me. I haven't really asked this the entire show, but let's hit that like button. We're only at seventy-one likes. We've had up to one hundred and sixty people in here. Let's hit that like button. Let's get that like number over 100 if we could, please. Um, Hit the like. Keep on participating. Keep on commenting. We appreciate the participatory nature of the crowd tonight, so thank you. 
but let's hit that like button. Um, what other hats you guys like in here? I'm definitely liking that uh, Atlanta brown with the red under. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I think it's easier to ask which hats I don't like on this page. Okay. And that well, would just be the Chicago one. You don't uh, like your Chicago, Chicago one? white socks. White socks. You don't like that one. That one's a slick no. Hat. I don't like that. Lo I don't like that logo at all. Damn. Never have. I do like it. I think that one's probably like really um, metallic-y, right? Yeah. 56 Flea, your views from the vault pins are coming. We had um, we had pins in different locations. We're consolidating them. And we'll get them shipped out to you. Yeah, so this weekend I'm sending Jason his hats, but also a ton of the missing pins that he needs to fulfill the orders. And then yep. we'll get those fulfilled. Uh, I don't want to speak for Jason, but I would say uh, middle of next week or later yeah. next week. Yeah, shipping right, price cool. will have gone up, so we're trying to consolidate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Now, what's your favorite hat on here, though, guys? Like, mine's the more I look at it, it's probably that Braves hat upper right. Uh, I'm know. gonna go with the, the, the lavender cubs. Yeah, that one's good too. The black Braves cubs one's a close too. second. Black cubs, brown braid, yeah, they're. You can't go wrong with a lot of this stuff. Splinter, mm. splinter. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next slide, guys. There's uh, mountains. Yeah, that one is – listen, so I love what Pat did here. It's a slight departure from what Sports World did, but Sports World did a very, very similar hat, very similar. Sure. Mm -hmm. That I, I, I did double up on, on that one from Sports World. That's why I didn't buy this one, uh, but that's a great looking hat. Um, great looking hat. But that Brewers in the lower left is the one where I'm putting my money at. That thing, I'm I'm telling you, when that thing comes in, that thing's gonna look smooth. That Tigers has almost like an LSU colorway, almost. Uh, no, Clemson. Clemson. LSU is purple and yellow. Yeah, Clemson's purple and orange. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's almost. It reminds me of a LSU hat almost. But Clemson could work too. I do love Jason's hat. So I'm going yeah. to take that one out of the equation. But the Brewers hat, man. Oh, my God. Fuck. What's your favorite hat on this slide, Leon, besides uh, Jason's? I kind of like the Houston one. It's like black and like really? the, like, lime green. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. It's kinda different. I think so. Blah. Pass. <laughs> Hard pass. Really? Yeah. It reminds me of the – was it the UGK from the Ox Pack, just colored differently? Yeah, so that was my, not, least, not even my least favorite hats. Remember, I got skewered for that. I'm like, I don't yeah, like that. You UGK. just rank us so low. <laughs> you the Houston hats. Why would you rank us so low? Like, I didn't rank you low, man. I didn't like the hat. <laughs> Jesus, everyone take it easy. Yeah, I have a weakness for, like, dark color hats with funky bottoms. Yeah. Like All right, let's look at the next slide, guys. I still can't believe you thought that was LSU. It's crazy. Everybody was saying that online too. I'm like, it looks like LSU's LSU. yellow. LSU's yellow, yellow and you. purple. Yellow and purple. purple. I know. I know. You two are you two done yet? Like fight like an old married couple. <laughs> well, we've been I don't... together every Friday night, Saturday night for two years. Yeah, I know. Just... It'll wear on. It'll wear on you. <laughs> but I don't they, mind that listen. No, you know what I don't mind here, which is surprising, and Jason was probably like, what the hell when I bought it, but upper the, the top middle Mets hat with the apple. I was going to say, don't tell me you bought that one. You bought that one? Yeah. <laughs> did you? I, yeah, I did. That oh, metallic. No. I might have blocked that out. <laughs> I thought you were kidding. You made an executive decision. <laughs> I mean, no, I, I, I like that fucking hat. I'm gonna wear that shit on the show too. I like that hat, man. I like really? it. I'm and I'm 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 gonna wear that thing. <laughs> Let's hope Jason ordered it because he just sounded like he thought no, he he's, looking at, he's looking at the chat. I definitely ordered that. <laughs> I, I I can't find it. Oh, I know I ordered it. I'm very fucking clear that I ordered it. I said I want that Mets hat. <laughs> And it was the only Mets hat that dropped that day. I've been missing. I've been missing all kind of toppers uh, deadlines. You all can kiss my ass, everyone in here. Like, <laughs> don't do it. Like, you know, whatever. I like that hat, man. I have something about it. You like. like what you like? That's fine. 
Mm-hmm. Even mm-hmm. Jason, man, that son of a bitch, you probably didn't order the hat for me. <laughs> I was doing you a favor, Pierre. <laughs> no, you weren't. That hat's great, man. It's like what? Can't hear you. What? What day was that one, Jason? What day was that one? I don't. I don't even remember. I can't. I can't find it. So I'm just gonna search in the chat and say, right, Mets, badass Mets hat. <laughs> you know. Mm. Every morning. You should right? search in your chat. You sure? <laughs> no, nah, Jason. Didn't. Jason doesn't do that, man. Jason doesn't do yeah. that. Man. You're, you just like, well, let me sit here. You guys can keep. You guys can keep talking about the the hats while I find it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, San Diego looks fun. Both, Toronto, both, please. Both uh, Giants hats look cool. Uh, Red Cardinals is always good. Yeah, I want. Jason, I really, Jason, I really want to like that Phillies. I just for some reason I don't like tan and light blue. I'm not feeling the patch either though. On what? I like the patch. On the, I like the patch on the Phillies. It's something different. But I don't know. tan and light blue like does doesn't go go for me for some reason. Oh God. You it's guys. Man. All right. Everyone everyone's like all pissed off at me for they're all pissed off about this. My love of that Mets hat. I'm telling you right now, that fucking hat is beautiful. Hey, you, you like what you like, man. It's all good. Tampa slick. Oh, man, we were talking. Oh. We were talking a lot of shit this week, Jason. You and I, like, I was we like, we, yeah. we were. That's why I stopped looking. That's why I stopped. I was like, hey, fuck you, Jason. You're but like, Pat, yeah, fuck you, Pierre. Pat, I love you, man. We gotta talk about those Tampa hats. I don't mind the top one. The middle one's oh. fading into the light. The middle one's an optical illusion. It's <laughs> like one of those 3D pictures. I didn't realize the uh, Seattle was a yellow bottom, so that changes it. I missed out on that one. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But everything else on this, oh, everything else is is like top tier hat. Yeah. And then those Tampa ones are just bringing the the whole grade point average down the entire class. I woke up way too late for the purple blue Jay. (laughs) Jason's like, yeah, go back to sleep. (laughs) You missed it. Dude, I sold out twice already. By the time yeah. you woke up. I think I, by the time I messaged you, it was like 3 p.m. You're oh, like, yeah, good luck. Mm-mm-mm. That, that uh, Nationals one is sneaky good, too. That blue and mint. Yeah. I missed the Trident uh, black um, Mariners hat the first time. I really like that hat, man. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's the Lost Dome Skittles. That's uh, Pierre's or Leon's hat. Well, in the mm-hmm. bottom middle. That's the one. He dropped him with That's all the one. other black, blackish hats. The green. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Capsule hats. Uh, I'm sorry. Somebody apologize. But what were these called? Uh, oh, it's like a roller coaster. Oh, these were. No, oh, what are these yeah. called? I had it, and then I lost him. Maybe oh, I didn't order that. I didn't order that Mets hat. Yeah. Gil saying, don't worry. It's a full-size run left on the website. Nitro 2.0. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty pissed at myself now. Do you, I like the, I don't mind these color, this colorway. Do you guys? I think I prefer the red over the blue. I don't know if I'm feeling the purple <laughs> one there. It looks so funny. It's the red over the blue. They're both red and blue. <laughs> no, I like the, a, I like the, it when it, the red over the blue. Or the oh, red okay. Over the, the red over over the blue over. Got it. Yeah. Or I like I, the red. Yeah, the red on top. I don't know. I, think he's screaming I don't know. I'd have, I'd have to see these in hand. That, that really dark brown is, is throwing me off with, with red and blue. Hmm. How are you feeling about these beer? I don't mind them. I mean, I like their um their uh their recent stuff a little bit better, like the uh, the uh, South Park pack. But these are these are solid. I mean, I like the Angels one a lot. I like the Angels one a lot. I'm so that Washington logo, man. It's just garbage, man. Walgreens. Yeah, I'm sick of that thing. The only time it should have been used this year, it wasn't used right. It was supposed to, it should have been used on that right. that story hat. 
a woody yeah. hat. All right, let's move on to Pro Image. All right, so Pro Image in New Jersey, uh, Philly area had a, a re-release of three of these uh, hip-hop inspired hats, and then they dropped uh, the Genius Jizza Liquid Swords. Uh, oh God, I mean, John, De John, John, you know how much I love you, John Demaria, but please, man, why would you use that hat? And then, um, listen, that Kanye one is sick. Yep. That one's pretty sick. good. I really well, enjoy it. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jason. Yeah, I was just going to say, of all the Kanye hats we've seen so far, which one's the best? Mm. I think I gotta, I'm got. i going to give the nod to Pro Image America. Okay. But So similar hat, but with the mama bear coat, basically. Not, not that, the pregnant one. Also, uh, I thought that had a different side patch, too. Or did that have the Wrigley one? Uh, I think I had 1990 All-Star. Yeah. yeah, that's why. 1990 All-Star. Yeah, no, nah, pancake. I'm with you, man. That um, that roots one is 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 a fantastic. Oh, that, root, that roots one is, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I still love that Dr. Dre the Chronic though. I, don't hat. I love that hat. Yeah. I, don't know if I have it. I think I do. I got the Eminem for sure. All right, you guys ready? To move um, on? Pedro, so, I, Pedro, I yeah. think, yeah, I think the Pedro, I think the reason why is predominantly because his logo is a bear, right? But secondly, right. Yep. the other the other pieces, like honestly, like the White Sox, I love, I I love like the classic White Sox logo, but there's so much fewer options when you're trying mm -hmm. to deal with a Chicago White Sox hat. So, like, mm -hmm. if you're trying to get creative. Like we just did something that we're not going to tell you. We're not going to describe like the specifics <laughs> around it, but we did something. And like to use Chicago White Sox hats is pretty difficult because there's it's not hard. a ton of options. There's no patches. Um, Very the rarely logo. do they ever say Chicago. It's always White Sox or Sox. Yeah. Well, and the other, like the the City Connect is allowed for to open up the floodgates a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. but it's still not it's enough, still, man. It's still all letters. They don't have a single like graphic logo right like it's just all letters yeah one that you could use a lot is the old c right but yeah that if if you're not really a hip to it you don't really know what that is right i don't know the bear visually like he used that bear forever yeah and it just has you from chicago so mm. i don't know all right let's move on to uh the next uh the next slide the fuck are these <laughs> i look like uh white yankee hats yeah all right i have to say since we started using these pictures i feel better about uh ecap city yeah yeah this week was a backslide a little bit although i didn't see that mets Ooh. the i like i like three hats here i like the since no, no. I like, I like that Cubs man. You like the Cubs? You do? Yeah, it's got a weird feel to it. I kind of like it. Mm. It's definitely weird. That's a good word for it. <laughs> yeah, they nailed the weird. <laughs> it's got a money. It's got a money feel to it, man. It's okay. And, and then you got yeah. the Expos, and then you got the Mets. Those are the ones I like here. Expos is kind of funky to me. Dude, I, uh, Brian I did doing? something I'm similar. I fucking missed that Mets. I didn't even see it. I'm pissed now. That's a good hat. Are there any weird tramp stamps on these hats before I commit? Oh, I didn't miss the Mets. Something weird about it? No, I'm buying it. Damn. There goes there goes some it's money. Still there? Yes. Yeah, you a sucker for copper, right? Eh? Are the Cubs there? Uh no, Cubs is gone immediately. Huh. Interesting. I'm getting mm -hmm. skewered for liking that Cubs hat too, but guess well, it's what? only because they had they had four because they didn't know what they were doing making that hat, so they ordered the minimum. The Milwaukee one, 
Looks like a, like a motor oil or like a like a NASCAR style hat or something. That looks like a yellow hat with a gray brim, and they're ugly, and it's ugly. Fair enough. No, but that's got two different grays. I guess. Didn't save it. This is helping though, seeing the pictures like this, right? Yeah, yeah. It's I a little harder mind. for me to determine what patch and what yeah. undervisor, but the, the colors are better. On, well, on the way you've pictures. described, the way you've shown it here is very clear for me to see everything. Well, yeah, but you got to look in different spots. That's all. You can't have it all, Jason Mead. I know. I know. What are you going to do? Even my angles on my coffee table, you still can't see the squatchy. That is true. All right, let's move on to uh, Cap USA. That's secured. It's just like that. I like that Diamondbacks. Actually, I actually like, I like the pretty Toronto. much everything on here. Yeah, I like yeah. the Toronto. Phillies is weird that they did the off-color eyelet, though, randomly. Yeah, I don't mind that. I'm an off-color kind of guy. And the Pittsburgh Pirates, I mean, we've been there, done that, yeah, right? Yeah, it's pretty standard yeah. fare. Right, I guess we can move on, guys. Mm-hmm. Capsule Toronto. This is a good one, too. Yeah, yeah I missed this. Yeah, you got you want to talk about it a little bit, Jason? Oh, uh, no, no. I just <laughs> I just like I like that. Yeah. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Dodgers, 50th uh Jackie Robinson, 50th anniversary, um, in a nice little maroon and, and green. I don't know why I was hesitating on it, but I should have pulled the trigger. It was a good hat. Yeah. yeah. It's a good one. Sharp <clears throat> I think it sold out mm-hmm. right away. I saw a couple of people it, post about it. Yeah. That they missed it. It's always that, that damn Canadian dollar amount just jumps out at you. $90 Canadian? Point three, right? Yeah. It's going to scare you. It's it scared me a little bit. All right, but what why is what is capsule t- TJ is giving this a thumbs down? No, what because he couldn't this? get because he couldn't get it. Oh, so, okay. okay. So listen, to everybody, before we hit the next slide, we're at ninety six likes. We should be more at like one hundred and fifty by now. Hit the like button, everybody watching right now. Please hit that like button, Jason and Leon. If you haven't already hit that like button, hit that like button. I just yep, I already All got it. Everybody oh, I do, re- I do, I do remember when I was trying to buy this though. Yeah, I had wow. to go to, I had to go to this captcha that then asked me what the fifteenth brand under the drop down of their what brands the list on their website was. So then I had to go look at that, and then I had to type that in. Um, yeah, it was, it was kind of a kind so of a scavenger hunt for you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it sounds horrible. Damn, it was not fun. I mean, they're trying to fight bots. You got to appreciate yeah. that part, I guess. Sometimes you get caught in the crossfire. Yeah. Are you guys ready to move on? Corporate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Brooklyn hats, that one in the upper left was a winner. Um, That's right up there. Four by hat of the year. Ooh. Hat of the year? Hat of the year? Yes. I don't know what it is about that hat. You've been smoking. Absolutely. You've been smoking some of that good stuff, Jason. Me, <laughs> it's right up there. It's in the conversation. I want to know what the hell's in your coffee. Uh, yeah, don't. When I like to know too. But it's a really, really good hat. It's I'm not ready hat. to go quite as far as Jason. Me just did everybody, but right. I, it's a really, really good hat. It's a yeah. sneaky, sneaky hat of the year candidate. Is it green under? Yes. Ooh, which is, is different than what, cor- than what corporate usually does. So yeah. it's a really good hat. It's a really mm-hmm. good hat. The Rangers is good too. They, they they do solid stuff over there, man. Yeah. Are these Bangladesh? Uh, they don't look don't it. Know. They look like China. They look like China too. Yeah, look at the Brooklyn one. That's a high crown. Mm, hold on. <clears throat> the Mets ones are shaped funny. It's just pictures, man. Yeah. China. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I can tell from looking at it. Minnesota's. No. Oh, let's see. What do we got? That one looks like a China. Minnesota. 
Uh, there's no Minnesota on the slide, guys. What no, 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 no. Sorry. Trying yeah. to, I have a Minnesota hat right, right here. Oh, yeah. Um, Texas was China. China. Yeah. And the Mets are. Nah, the, the Mets are China. China. And the, the, the maroon one might be big. China. Yeah, nope, all, all China. China. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Let's move on to my fittings, guys. <laughs> Nice job, Matt. Nice job, corporate. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, my fittings had some stuff released. That Olive Garden hat, man. Oof. It's a good hat. The Gryffindor hat is really good. Yep. Yep. The Rocket City, uh, the Rocket City hat sat. Did it? Yeah. It sat. Oh yeah. Yeah. John was begging me to post that one. I, I usually don't post my fitteds anymore because I'm just used to selling those selling out immediately. Yeah, he wanted me to post that one like the next day. Damn, it was just it was just sitting there for some reason. It's a good hat. It's gone. I think it's gone now, but it is it, the yeah. the issue with that hat. I think is the gray bottom. It's minor league, and it's got a gray bottom. For me, I, I think, think the hat better. is. I think that I, it's it's awesome. The hat's awesome, but like you know, that is what's mm -hmm. going to turn some people off. Then you got the two ramen inspired caps. Up top, John Jay's trying to get me to try that ramen. It's still in my cupboard. Um, I'm not certain I'm ever going to do that. Yeah, I don't know. If you um, would. But the Olive Garden hat is the winner to me, man. That thing is beautiful. Beautiful. What do you guys like best here? Uh, uh, Gryffindor. Gr Gryffindor for me. Yeah. Yeah. Omaha Royals. Uh -huh. And yeah. the Houston one's pretty cool. That one just looks spicy. <laughs> it's like you did a good job. Yeah. On the hook. Looks spicy. I think I'll right, try let's... try the pink ramen before I tried the red one. I don't enjoy when food is like extra stupid spicy for no reason. Mm -hmm. Like it's like, why am I subjecting myself to this horror mm -hmm. when I can just eat normal noodles? Yeah. It doesn't ruin my day, but yeah. All right, well, let's move on to the second slide of my fittings. Man, there's some good stuff. That, that Tennessee Smokies. Yeah. I even have groundskeepers from that the Tennessee Smokies team reaching out to me. Oh, they're saying they need it? Yeah. Why would you want a groundskeep in that hat? Want to get all sweaty and gross? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know, but that, yeah. that Bowie Bay Sox, too, is crazy. The Pelicans is really The good. Myrtle Beach one is great. The yeah. Marlins is great. I'm not a fan of the kimchi one. Is that the lower right? Yeah. yeah. That one sold out, though. Well, they all sell out. It's my fittings. No. Um, Rocket City hasn't sold out. It's still sitting no. there. All right. But, yeah, you're right. I mean, for the most part, they do. But, like, right. for me, I would like the Rocket City better than this hat. But this hat I'm not even, I don't even know if the kimchi made it online, actually. Now that I think about it. Really? Yeah. Which team uh, is that? It's uh, uh you want that, is cool. that pelican that me. pelican's hat is gorgeous. Yeah, that's cool. Pelican. They use that theme night patch on the side. That's cool. Yeah, that? that that's a nice touch. Is that a theme night patch though? They've... It, was, it is. It was a theme night front that they moved over to the patch. I mm -hmm. thought they had that as a uh, as like a regular hat. No, uh, no. it was a theme theme. It night. was like a random theme night that they wore on field. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I, okay. I the Bowie Bay Sox might be the best on the slide though. Um, that one looks like no, that, okay. So that is Montgomery Biscuits. That one did mm. did make it online briefly. Mm. Nah, it's all good stuff, man. Any more minor? I'll take more minor league. Keep doing it. Yeah, keep doing it. All right, let's move on to Culture Kings. You guys are in for a treat. Pink, come on, man. All right, let's take this down. Who's doing it? You're going to have to appear. I'm kind of lost in Windows here. Uh, oh, I got to take it down? Okay, but I got it. Yeah. yeah. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. The close mm -hmm. up. Mm, there we go. There, there we go. go. There we go. Thank you. It only took Thank three you. clicks. <laughs> this was a good show, man. It was good. It was, yeah, good. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah, so listen, uh, good week in caps, right? We're going to. Um, mm -hmm. When we're done here, we're not doing a stock report this week for everybody. We're going to do uh, Keepers, Sleepers, Weepers. We're going to film our Hat Heaven preview, um, which 
it's now they're they're stacking up, right? So we just yeah. showed the other one. Those hats haven't come out yet, but we're now we're doing the next one. And then we got more stuff to come next week. And then again, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh and let you know that we'll be out at Lids uh coming up on uh like the second week of April, we're doing some cool stuff out there. So we'll definitely keep you all posted there. We're probably gonna show some uh, preview some preview some stuff. We're gonna do, I think, a special edition of the Views Genuine Draft from Lids, but we're not gonna do it live. We're gonna record it at Lids, and then we're gonna drop that video too. You're in for a treat, everybody. So um, stay tuned. We got a lot more stuff coming. Um, Leon, thank you again for being on with us. Jason, thank you for the visuals. And with that, Leon, take us away. Yeah, make sure you guys are dropping a like uh, on the video on the way out. Subscribe to the channel, viewsfromthevault.com, to get your official merch for Jason, Leon, and Pierre. We're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See you, everybody. Peace. <laughs>